Hi gang, this week we're going to start talking about Wallace Stevens and William Carlos Williams, two very different poets um, from a similar period. And um, on the one hand, we're going to have Wallace Stevens, who is all about perceiving the world and the imagination and what you imagine is is just as important as what you actually experience. Whereas on the other hand, we have William Carlos Williams, who is all about things and the image um, and no ideas except in things. So there's a lot of stuff and real things in his poetry, um, not as much imagination or how these things resonate. So, um, starting with Wallace Stevens, and there's a picture of him there. Um, he was an attorney, a businessman. His his that was his bread and butter. He was not primarily a writer. Um, he was friends with William Carlos Williams, Marion Moore, as well as E. E. Cummings. His first book was Harmonium, which appeared in 1923, and he is described as exotic, whimsical, infused with light and color of an impressionist painting. Um, when you read his poems, they can be a little bit difficult because they are filled with unexpected uh, unexpected diction and imagery, and there's always um, tends to be allusions to things in addition, in addition to um, music and painting. There's also a lot of sensory imagery. Imagination was key for Wallace Stevens, and he was really concerned with the personal interaction between the observer and and the observed and that interaction would be personal so my interaction um, of a thing or of an event would be different than your reaction and so on and so forth and, but that personal interaction between the observer and the observed was a fascinating place to Wallace Stevens and that's what his work tends to look at um, he believes in the interdependence between the observer and the observed um, that one <laughs> relies on the other and you'll also see a lot of wit and imagery and color in his work there is a display that is his his display is valid and enough so what that means is um, to see is enough um, and to experience um, you will also here's a, a sweet a, a short very short um, excerpt from modern American poetry capturing so exuberantly yet so flawlessly the mind at play with an extravagance most often associated with youthful pleasure with the sheer delights of the sensual body Stevens preferred to mask his very great sensual satisfactions by suggesting that his doings were in fact all a highly proper set of speculations on the imagination his prose essays were useful allies in the strategy but the sheer verve of local moments, the sumptuous texture of outstanding passages, simply dissolves as pretense the notion that a philosophical enterprise might be underway. Few poets, few poets have so fully enjoyed not just their indulgence in their own language, but also the game that elaborately insists on such indulgence, that, su that no such indulgence is occurring. Um, when you listen to, I'll include the links to listen to the disillusionment of 10 o'clock or the idea of order at Key West, we see um, the idea of, uh, especially in the idea of order at Key West, the observer observing the, the actual observe, uh, the actual act of observing, um, especially the woman who sings by the sea, um, about the sea. She is having this moment of being, of observing and observing the fact that she observes, you know, only humans and people can do this and he's fascinated with that idea um, so how does the idea that nothing is there except the imagine what the imagination events become a manifestation of American self-reliance um, that's a question that uh, you should consider as you look at his poetry because he is considering that question and two themes that we see repeatedly in his work as I said before, looking at things, um, seeing them, or the looking at the looking of things, <laughs> seeing the seeing of something, um, observing the observation, the act of observing, and playing musical, in musical instruments or singing. Um, you'll see the song or singing come up a lot in his work because in a way he is a singer, he's a, he's a poet, and that idea of a song capturing... Um, the idea of something as well as a poem capturing the idea of something um, and as you hear it imagining the thing and that being real in your mind uh, that fascinated him and he is all about defining the one's own supreme fiction that that was what the gist gist of poetry was um, that human it, the, the supreme 
fiction enabled human beings to apprehend reality as a whole instead of in a fragmentary flash of insight. Um, so here we have the individual um, being the, the center um, of the world and, and thus the perceiving is the important thing as the center, the, 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 the individual being the perceiver of that world.